Hey, what's going on guys? It's Johnny Fraze. Just got something in from Brooke that I want to show you guys. Basically, it's the revision 2 of the PS4 Plus audio fighting board that's been out for the uh, past year. And if you guys recall what this board did, it's basically a PS4 um, slash PS3 slash PC, uh, PCB that allowed us to connect audio to it via this breakout board, meaning um, you can plug in your headset or channel the PS4 audio through um, this little breakout board. Um, so again, this has been out. Now, the uh, the big things about this board that people gave feedback to Brooke about were really two things. Um, the first one, it's micro USB on both the breakout board and the uh, main PCB. And, you know, with that said, it could be a little brittle if you kind of hit your wire the wrong way. It could actually, you know, just flat out break it. And, you know, it's an arcade stick, so we want it to be a little bit more rugged than that. And the other thing was that their pitches and pinouts were a little bit different than um, the Universal Fighting Board that they put out. And a lot of the uh, third-party shops, like Arcade Shock, for instance, they make a Universal hookup kit for the UFB that isn't really compatible with this. And that really um, made it really easy for people who aren't um, that skilled in soldering or like even just wiring things up to be able to just plug and play um, to buttons and joysticks. So. Let me show you guys the revision. It's in a white box. This is not the official retail um, packaging. This is a prototype. But um, you can see here, and I'll leave this out for reference. This is the old board. Okay. This is the, the revision B, or uh, second revision of the fighting board plus audio. Now, if you guys notice, first thing off the bat, like I mentioned, USB B, much more solid of a connection you know with the uh, nice strong housing and then the connectors here match the pitch and you know same connective same pin layout as the ufb which is super dope because now we can use those universal fighting um, i'm sorry universal uh kits that uh, arcade shock makes um and this is the new breakout board let me see if i can crack it open If you guys notice, let me go this angle for you guys. It's a UF, USB B, as well as the uh, standard um, headphone jack right over here. So then, believe it or not, this uh, fits. This whole thing fits within basically 23 millimeters, and so this will fit in a standard 24 millimeter jack. And then it has the same as did the, the past version, but it has the same um, you know, screw holes as a Nutrix setup. So this should be much more robust. Obviously, here's the cable that connects these two together, but this should be much more robust going forward. All right, guys, I'm gonna quickly go over the feature set via the instruction manual that the Brook team just sent me. Kinda highlight some of the changes. Nothing really new, but we'll go through it anyway. All right, first thing, uh, first feature set, nothing new here, um, auto detect, Yep, you can do uh, force modes with a uh, key command to switch consoles. Again, nothing really new on this set. Let's see. Uh, SOCD is interesting on this. You can jumper the two pins that are on the board to change the behaviors for all you hitbox players out there. And it's also highlighting the fact that they replaced the micro USB with the bigger and more robust USB Type B. And all the connectors and headers compatible with the Brook UFB, which is sweet. Button function player LED behaviors for each console. I'll leave this up for a little bit. This is the pin layout, full pin layout for the board. This is highlighting the uh, connection between the uh, breakout board and the main board. Connection diagram. Uh, one thing you want to pay attention to is down here where you can jumper some of these, uh, these two pins for both uh, the uh, J5 section and the SOCD cleaning. 20 pin header layout right on the J4 board so this is uh, going to allow you to use those kits from Arcade Shock that we spoke about earlier to just quickly um, wire up everything. Dimension of the breakout board and oh cool they gave us a pin out over here if we need to tap into those. And here's what's going to come in the actual package. It's obviously the board, the breakout board and the ribbon cable. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll try my best to try to get a install video with this, but again, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing really new other than the, uh, the things that we highlighted. Catch you guys soon. Peace.